Hey everyone, this is Neen and I'm about to show you how to sew your own crochet hook holder case. I've been making a lot of these recently. They're very easy to make, very quick. I think they maybe take me 25 minutes and um, they're just really neat to have. So I am going to show you what we're going to be making. It's going to be just a rolled case so that when you open it, you just have a little section for all your hooks. And this is what we're going to be making. So I don't know if you want to write this down, but you might want to grab a pen and paper as I'll tell you what tools you're going to need before we begin. So you can you can hand stitch this if you don't have a sewing machine, uh, but it would take a while. Um, and this tutorial, I'm going to be using my Singer Confidence sewing machine. Um, to show you how to do it as I don't have time to be hand stitching it tonight. So you will need a sewing machine um, or a good pair of hands. <laughs> Next you will need a crochet hook. This is just going to be to measure uh, the length that your case should be. You will need some clothes pins to pin down your material. For finishing you will need a button and some ribbon. A pair of sharp scissors for cutting your material. I'm not going to give you any measurements of the materials because this is basically a pattern that can be evolved to make a knitting needle case, a pencil case, uh, anything that you wish it to be. So let's get started. I am using two different colors of material. I am using green. This is color one and the green is the main body of your case. So the green is going to be the red part of this case. I am using purple as the holder for the hooks. Purple is color two. So to begin, we're going to put to begin you're going to cut out your material. I've cut the same size on both sides squares. So as you can see the crochet hook, you have enough on the bottom and enough on the top. Your crochet hook should sit with plenty of room top and bottom in the middle. I'm using a larger crochet hook now. Uh, just so that you can see it on the camera. So when you're measuring this, maybe use a size 5 uh, crochet hook. You then take colour 2. As you can see, I folded the top part down. We're going to sew along the edging so you don't get it frayed as your crochet hooks are coming in and out. You want it to stay nice and neat. Your crochet pins should be always pointing the one way as this makes it easier on the sewing machine. And this is the very first thing we're going to sew, just the top half of this material. You place your material into the sewing machine. I like to pick a pretty stitch to do along the top as this is going to be seen um, at the top of your crochet hooks. So for this pattern, I am going to choose. Um, I'm going to choose 66, which is kind of a wave. Take out your pin. This is the importance of having the pins all facing the one way that you can just pull them out very easily. It's common sense but just sometimes people uh, just might forget. Once you have the top part sewn you come back on to your uh, you place it back onto your colour one um, and you just tack it down but as you're tacking it you're making sure that you're folding in the corners as again, you don't want it to fray um, if you want to keep this for a long time. Once it's all tacked, you're ready to go back to your sewing machine. 
Now for sewing around the edges we're just going to do a plain stitch. A little tip I have when you're doing the corner keep the needle into the fabric lifting it up and turning it put back down the foot and that will give you a nice L shape edge. Once you have colour 2 sewn on to colour 1 you come back and you place your crochet hook into the pouch. You then go down to the edge and squeezing the crochet hook nice and tight you put a little clothes pin in. You're going to do this all the way along. Now once you have along. all your needles in going across to the width of a crochet hook you bring it to your sewing machine and we're just going to follow this line and crochet all the way up to the top all the way up to the top. Now so once you have all of that sewn we move on to our second piece of material. You're going to thread a normal sewing needle and get your rubbin, your rubbin, <laughs> your ribbon and your button. Pinning your ribbon down into the center of the material, which will be here, giving you plenty of space, you're going to sew the two ends of the ribbon together. Once you have that sewn, you're going to hand sew the button on top. Now once you have the button and the ribbon sewn on, you're going to bring the ribbon back here and pin it, like so. Next we are going to do a reverse stitching of the two main colours together. So with your crochet pouch and your button, you're going to face them two inwards. And now we will pin along the edges neatly and straight. Now once you have it pinned, always remember to leave a space on the top, roughly the width of three to four fingers as this is going to be where you will reverse it once it's sewn. Now you are going to sew along the border remembering to leave a space for the opening of reversing it. Now once it's stitched we're going to sit back down and pull the inside out. Now and there it is reversed. But we still have this hole you can either decide to do a seamless hand stitch or if you want to make a design feature you can do stitching on the machine which I am going to do. I'm going to pick some nice stitching and do it along the top as a design feature. And there we go guys, a design, your own designed personal crochet hook case. Keeping in mind that you can just change the measurements to make it for knitting needles. You can even make just a little pencil case with this design. It's very practical and I hope you really liked it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Also, go along to my blog to see more pictures of this unique case.